All right, so this looks uh, cobbled together, probably because it is cobbled together. I 3D printed an enclosure, use a uh, Dremel to cut out my holes here, and then used a massive amount of hot glue to put everything together. So it's not my best work by far, but I just wanted a good proof of concept. And honestly, I don't care. I don't care if I need to rebuild it. Something goes wrong. So. Um, same setup as before, you got the pie, you got the Adreno, you got the relays. These are buck converters. Um, they take the battery power, convert it down to five and six volts respectively. Now my generator remote start fob is there, soldered on some wires. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. And it's interesting thing about this remote is that this metal enclosure seems to be part of the 433 megahertz antenna assembly because when i had just the uh just the pcb out and everything hooked up it wouldn't start or the generator uh, the generator couldn't see it unless i held it extremely close so something funky going on i'd probably um, recommend using another type of remote if you're going to do this um, but this has two coin cell batteries in there. So I eventually, uh, well, the reason for the second buck converter is that I was trying to power it permanently off of uh, this buck converter at about 6.5 volts. But unfortunately, it, due to whatever, the radio frequencies did not jive with whatever the hell was going on. So anyway, um, I've learned a few things. So um, I got the MK2 USB adapters. They go out to my 712 VRM and my solar charge controller. Um, so that gets the data into the Venus here. But uh, the problem is that if I trigger the generator on battery current, uh, what happens is that it senses the high current draw from the inverter and it kicks the generator on. But then, um, the generator ends up kicking off after my 10 minute minimum runtime because it senses that the batteries are being charged by the generator. So I can only configure for depth of discharge uh, generator triggering right now. Um, I need to get a Victron AC energy meter to um, trigger on AC load. That's another 70 bucks and it uses an RS-232 to USB thing. So you had to get another complexity and wiring there, but thankfully it's possible if you can find the part. Um, I only found one store actually selling the damn thing, so. Anyway, um, yeah, I had it in there, um, got it all programmed up, and it actually starts and stops the generator, so that's good news. Um, my depth of discharge triggering for the generator works. Everything seems to be working, um, and it is starting the generator, so. I'm happy about that. I need to uh, try to get this buck converter wired up to this remote again. Um, so I'm not relying on these stupid batteries that are inside this key fob. And hopefully by doing that, the power wires and the buck converter, um, maybe they were introducing electromagnetic interference and was blocking the radio or something. So I gotta figure out what's going there. Uh, maybe add a capacitor or something to smooth out the, the voltage coming out. I don't have my scope anymore, so I'm just really guessing and checking here. Should have kept my damn scope, but I mean, overall, I spent a few days on it. Um, the hardest part for me was programming this Alduino, which is sad because the code's really simple. I've just never worked with Alduino before, or breadboards, or connecting things, or using relays. All this is like brand buck converters. All this is brand new to me, and I picked it up and ran with it within within a week, so. You know, I think hot glue is the least of my concerns, but, uh, yeah, I'll keep on posting updates as the project progresses.